Is it on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's start. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Internet? This has been the Bearded Coffee Blogger here today with you on Valentine's Day with my lovely wife. Mm -hmm. The expert on coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Just for clarity's sake, she doesn't drink coffee, uh, but she's agreed nonetheless to do this fine coffee tasting with me. <laughs> and to make it better, we got some chocolate to go along with it. So we'll, we'll taste that as well. So this is gonna be a coffee and chocolate tasting on Valentine's Day. This is my lovely wife, lovely <laughs> wife <laughs> Megan, with an A, M-A-G-E-N, not Megan. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. She likes to get that right. Uh, so we'll talk about what we're going to taste today, and we'll talk about the chocolate, co chocolate and coffee that we're going to taste today, and we're, we're going to jump into it. Um, we've got the the over under set at like two and a half for how many times the kids are going to interrupt. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going the under. You're going the over, right? Oh, I'm guessing at least three. Yeah, yeah. So she's taking the over. I'm taking the under. We'll see. Um, but what the coffee that we've got for you today is some Little Wolf. And this is a uh, this is a roaster out of Massachusetts, I believe, and this is their Andres Torre Ore Peru. Uh, and uh, I've been loving this coffee. It's not the first time I've tried it. I've been already drinking it, uh, but I really love it. But I'm gonna taste it for the first time with you, with Megan on camera. Um, and so let me tell you a little bit about this, and then we'll jump into the the, uh, the chocolate we'll be tasting as well. But this is a washed process uh, Peruvian coffee. Elevation is 1,700 to 1,950 meters above sea level, and it is uh, Bourbon and Katura varietals. Little Wolf, love this packaging. Some really cool, even even you said. Yeah, I like it. It's packaging, cute. super, super on point. Like everything about it. I, I like this is an eight ounce bag, so I actually bought this and another coffee from them, uh, and it's pretty affordable, so all about that. And this is really hot, so. We let mine will, cool. yeah, we'll let it cool a little bit while we talk about the chocolate um, that we'll taste here in a second. We'll open this up. We got two chocolates. One is a Nathan. Go ahead. You want you want to introduce this one? I'm gonna introduce. <laughs> Go ahead, do that one first, and I'll. Okay, so this one is really cute. I just wanted to color it um, because the art is just great. I love it. Uh, Dick Taylor Craft Chocolate. It's a dark with candied almonds, so I expect that to be really good. Sweet. You go ahead and open that guy up. Okay. And I'll tell him that this one, this is a Nathan Miller chocolate and it's 45% buttermilk chocolate. Uh, I don't know from where. I don't know if it matters as much when it's milk chocolate or it's from. I don't know. I, I'm not a chocolate expert at all. But this was some high dollar stuff. I will say that. <laughs> So Let's see what the front looks stink. like. Oh yeah, this is pretty chocolate. So we've got one sick kid and uh, two others that are just got just got in bed and sharing a room together right now. And I don't think that's going to work very well uh, because it's Valentine's Day. We don't get to go out because of all that going on, <laughs> and we don't usually really go out. In Valentine's we don't Day. celebrate Valentine's we'll celebrate Day. Celebrate yeah. in a week or something. I don't know. All right, so we will. You want to taste? Let's do the coffee first. Coffee first, okay. Again, she doesn't like coffee, although she like, is. Not at all. <laughs> she is on that hot tea kick a little bit. I so like that's it, yeah. a gateway drug, so we're hopeful. <laughs> all right, so let's start with, babe, let's just start with a smelling sniffy sniff. it. Yeah, sniffy sniff. <laughs> I'll tell you what I smell in just a second. What you think? Okay, so the initial smell, I just smell burnt. <laughs> burnt? <laughs> That's every time I smell. But as I continued to smell, I was smelling less and less burn. Um, but I not really smelling anything else. I don't really know. Burnt. <laughs> burnt is not how I would ever describe this coffee. That's what all coffee smells like to me. It just smells <sighs> this burned. Is... Little Wolf, I'm sorry. This doesn't smell burnt at it's all. It's probably not. I just don't know what I'm talking about. I will say about. it's kind of it's kind of closed up for me a little bit. Um, I mainly smell sweet, 
And I think I, I noticed the tasting notes. I wasn't trying to, but I did. And I think one of them was butterscotch. So I'm getting a little bit of butterscotch, I think, on the nose. Maybe something creamy like that. I, I think I can pick up on that, but, but yeah, I'm yeah, not smelling a like whole lot. Kind of creamy caramel sweetness. Is... Okay, no, okay, yeah, I get okay. that. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and taste it. Is it hot? Is it going to no. burn my, my mouth? is already burned. I burned it. No, earlier, I, I think. think it's pretty chill. I mean, don't gulp it. Okay. This is all I'm going to say. That's the first time I've sipped coffee and did not cringe with like, <laughs> so good job. So, I mean, seriously, <laughs> you're, that's, you're lost. That's you a win. Cause it's usually really profound. Seriously. Like it doesn't have that bite at the end that I'm used to. That's like yeah. punch you in the face, bitter. It doesn't taste like that. Yeah. Well, it's not burnt. No. And it's not, mm -hmm. there's acidity, but it's not overly acidic. Mm -hmm. Like it's there in a really balanced way. So I get a little bit of like vegetal acidity. Okay. This is not bad. That, gateway seriously. Drug. Gateway drug. I've been talking about that tea. coffee ever that is not bad. I don't love it. Like I still don't like that. Baby steps, baby. Kind of hot, you know? Little wolf, that's saying something. This has been, <laughs> we've been married for- 10 years. Not 10 yet, nine oh. plus. We're on the way towards 10. This is the 10th year. Um, been together 11. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 10 is this October, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Got we've together. been together 10 well, plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not 11 plus. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. It'll be 11, October 31st. Look at there, Halloween. Not because we're huge Halloween fans. It just worked out. Um, I really just want to gulp my drinks and I don't think I could ever do that with coffee. Iced coffee? I don't know. Although, and I know there's a lot of iced coffee. Again, it doesn't smell like there. anything. Not my, it's kind of, so here's what I love about this coffee and I've been drinking it a lot. It's very pleasant. It's very balanced. To me, it comes across super sweet, but it's not really complex. So to me, it's kind of, it's kind of straightforward. There's really strong about it because some coffees are so strong that I'm like, and I don't drink coffee. I just kind of sip his every once in a while and they're horrendous. And this is very yeah. even. Yeah. Yeah. The number one thing that comes across other than like even and kind of sweet and the, the kind of vegetal acidity is, um, you know, there's a little bit of that sharpness there, but not a ton. Not, yeah, not a it ton. It comes across creamy to me, overall. Like, uh... I don't say overall, but creamy and then that kind of taste that I don't... Somebody told me this, it was another coffee I drank this week. I think it's Sump, and they were describing it this way, and now it's in my head, and I think it kind of tasted here. But you know those, um, you know those caramel candies with, like, the cream center? It's like a white like creamy sort of thing. Mm, no, but go ahead. That's kind of, if you know what I'm talking about, it kind of has that sort of creamy taste when I taste it. Mouth, I can't believe I'm like tasting more than one. Feel. This is the most coffee I've ever had in my entire life. No joke. <laughs> A little bit of lemon, maybe. That's the acidity. Lemon vegetal kind of acidity. Let's see what no. they say. You want to see what they say? Yeah. So they say, they say right here, um, nugget. I think okay. that's, that's that creamy Cre thing. Creamy. Yeah. Creamy. Apple. apple. I so I don't, I didn't see. Get apple, but. Where did I get butterscotch? So I see I made that up. Um, so maybe I legitimately <laughs> did taste like butterscotch yeah. kind of. Really good coffee. If, if you were to rate this, you know, zero to five. Okay. Where would you rate this? Well, considering that I, like, I don't think I could drink this whole thing. Um, but it is the best tasting coffee that I've ever had. So I'm going to give it a four. You're going to give it a four. I'm going to okay. give it a four, but it only goes down because I still don't love coffee. Like there's well, still an over, four. you know, yeah, four solid I, to me. Actually, I think it's about a four too. Um, I really love drinking this coffee. Really, really, really love drinking this coffee. It's a little not complex. I think that was the main reason. Like it was a tad. Man, no, nah, it gets a four and a quarter. Sorry, because I like it better than the, I like it better than the tulip coffee that I think got a four. So for me, it's four and a quarter. Okay. But if it was a little more complex, 
could be out of this world. But I really like this coffee. Like I'm, I'm pounding through. I had to hurry up and do this tasting because this was going to be gone. It's running out. Uh, which chocolate you want to start with? You want to start with Mine. the Dick Taylor? Okay. Yeah. So the, again, the Dick Taylor. Let's see. It's very pretty. Seventy-three percent dark with candied almond. Oh yeah. Which I'm excited about. So it looks just like the paper. You can't see that, but it looks literally looks just like the paper. Oh, with cinnamon. It's pretty. It's got some cinnamon in here. Yeah. So California almonds, finely chopped and candied with sugar, cinnamon paired with our 73% Northern blend. So say where this stuff is from. Uh, it doesn't. Just 73% minimum cacao. Okay. I'm gonna give you the bigger piece. It's melting in my hands. Oh. So it's very delicate. I love dark chocolate. <laughs> I don't love dark chocolate. That's weird. You would think the coffee lover would love it. The mm. non-coffee lover wouldn't. And I actually like milk chocolate butter. I love this. It's really good. I don't like almonds, but these are so finely chopped, it just gives a nice crunch to it, and it's really good. Now, it's a great bar. With, yeah, like with the coffee, you'll either love it or hate the coffee now. So. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean... It's going to change it? They kind of naturally pair, but... Okay. But, you know... It makes it flatter to me. Yeah. You taste like nutty. It brings that nuttiness kind of in the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I wish I could describe what it is that I'm tasting, like, even, like, in my nose. That's From the coffee? From the coffee. That's with every coffee that I drink, and it's what I don't like. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't either. All right. But, yeah, this them. one's good, sir. I'm going to take one more bite. That's good. That's cool. We're going to try the... So, that was the Nathan Miller... This is the, what is this again? I don't know. This is the, uh, oh no, this is the Nathan Miller. That was the- The Dick Taylor. Dick Taylor. And all, right? All, yeah, yeah, I think that's right. Okay. All chocolate sounds the same. And what do we know about this? Sweet and salty, 45% buttermilk chocolate. Um, buttermilk chocolate, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either, because I'm not, I'm not an expert. Uh, all right. Mmm. Now see, that's my jam because it's just more sweet. Very creamy. Oh yeah. Mm. Really smooth. I like this. It got a little bit that little bit of the salt. Yeah. But it just kind of brings it out. No, this is very nice. I thought it would be hard because it's kind of. This is kind of like salted dense, hot chocolate. Dense, but it melts in your mouth, and it's oh, it's good. Yeah. This one wins hands down for me, but that's just because I like. Milk chocolate. No, I got one right here. Yeah, it's really good. Did you taste the cinnamon in that one? Mm hmm. It's almost as if there's like caramel inside of it that kind of melts down, but there's not caramel in it. Like it's it's solid chocolate. Yeah, it's real creamy. Oh, I'm gonna see how it does with it. Good. Too. Okay. Oh yeah, it pairs better. In my opinion, it pairs better with the coffee. Not that it is like yeah. chocolate's better than coffee. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, little wolf. We were making such progress. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I really like that chocolate. I'm gonna try that one again. I want to see if I can taste the cinnamon. I didn't notice the cinnamon before. This one looks more like bougie. Yeah. But um. So, this candy, I feel like, or chocolate, you can just keep eating it and not realize that the bar's already gone. Like, it's just gone. This one, I would really take my time and eat. You could drag this out. Like, you or, could drag or, this one out, yeah. For me, like three days. Like, I could yes. munch on this. You just this want a bite or two, and then you're done. This one, you want to eat, like, the whole bar. Yeah, or at least half of it, and then, like, kind of have that sugar mm -hmm. rush, and then you put it back down. Yeah, it's really good. But the thing I'll... You know, it's weird because I don't like almonds. Is that I really love that there's almonds in this. Like the way really, that it's put together, really nice. Really good texture. Yeah. All right. Okay. So you get to ask question of the day, which I don't always do. What's the but word? this whole, this whole thing, if, for those of you that have been around the internet for a while, is semi modeled after Gary Vaynerchuk's old Wine Library TV, mm -hmm. now defunct. Big fan of Gary V. Shout out, what's up, Gary? Um, <laughs> And he always did question of the day. 
So that's kind of why I do it. It's also why we have the sniffy sniff. So mm-hmm. there's not yeah. a there's not a question of the day made up. You get to ask it. What's your question of the day for the audience? Oh gosh, why to put me on the spot? I didn't that's even get what to Gary think about. Gary always did too. Really? Yeah. I'm not creative like Gary. Um, okay, it's Valentine's Day. What is your preferred Valentine's gift? Chocolate, flowers, going out to dinner, a big teddy bear. What is your preferred gift? Yeah, it's a good question. Solid question. There we go. What, you want me to answer? Yeah, go ahead. I I think dinner for me. Like good dinner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have to be on the day. It could be like that week. Yeah. Like good dinner, that's what I want to do. What what about you? Yeah, nothing has to be on the day for me either. I'm not set on the day. Um... Definitely not chocolates, definitely not a teddy bear or balloons or anything like that. I do love flowers, um, but I really like going out to dinner as well. So din- dinner and flowers. I'll, dinner and flowers, and that's a win. <laughs> that's kind of two favorites. So Awesome. Well, I'm scared battery's going to run out, uh, so we're going to stop. But this has been Ben, the Bearded Coffee Blogger, together with... Megan, his wife. <laughs> The non-coffee drinker wife. She's coffee awesome. drinking wife. Uh, and we've, <laughs> loved, we've loved shooting this video for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you have a good Valentine's Day or by the time you're watching this, you know, good rest of the week. Because uh, you won't see it till tomorrow, probably at, at the quickest. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much for subscribing, watching the channel. I love just watching those numbers creep up and just supporting this. If you do want to pound that like button or share this or tell somebody uh, who you think would be interested in the content. I would love that. We're hoping with Mago on this one, it, it's the best watched, <laughs> it's the best watched video so far. Uh, so anyway, catch you guys later. Peace. Bye. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. You're supposed to follow along. I really didn't know what you were doing. <laughs>